Hey guys, so I wanted to just shoot a video real quick before I left for work. Um, I got some really great things this weekend and I'm excited and I didn't want to wait. The first thing I'm going to show you is actually something I picked up the weekend before. Um, it was in my Christmas home tour but I never showed it here on the channel. And it's these vintage wooden skates. And these I picked up at, it's called the Christmas Kindle Market. And I guess it's like a German type Christmas festival and our town holds it every year. And this is the first year I've actually gone to it. Um, so they have a lot of booths of like just like artisan type things, you know, people that make soaps or candles and things. But they had one booth that was like, she owned a store and she did like a lot of primitive type signs and things. And she had some actual antiques mixed in. And these I found, they were asking 25, but I actually got them for 20, which is more than I would normally spend. But I just fell in love with them on the spot. So I love how the paint's like wearing off. Normally they would have had some kind of a metal thing here because I looked them up on eBay. Um, and then they have the straps that the kid would tie around their foot. And then they still have like the maker's decal here. And it's I think F.D. Peters company from Gloversville, New York. So I just have these hanging on the wall because I think they're super cool. Okay. And so I'm going to show you the other things I picked up this weekend too. I'm going to start with what was the most exciting thing. My mother and I went to a Christmas tour at the farm. And it's Luscroft Farm. It's in Wantage, New Jersey. Um, which is really not that far from us. And it's like a historic farm where they did all kinds of like groundbreaking technology and like the cattle industry. But anyways, they're raising money to rebuild it. And uh, the buildings that they have started to work on, they had it all decorated for Christmas. And they had like a vendor fair. Um just all kinds of cute little things so we went to that and we toured the main mansion and we toured the Christmas cottage and I got a picture of the barn which I turned out so good on my phone camera I couldn't believe it so I have framed it I'm trying not to get too much glare from outside I framed it so that I could put it on my wall and I'm gonna try and make one for my mom too because it turned out so nice um, so I already had that frame from a Salvation Army haul, and then I paid, I think, $4 just to get the frame done one hour, or the picture done one hour. Um, and then at that sale, they had all kinds of, like I said, vendor things. They had, like, candles and soaps and, you know, Christmassy things that people make themselves. They also had upstairs kind of like a... I guess a bazaar type thing where it would be like things people donated and they just sold. Um, so they had one room that was a 50 cent room and basically anything in the room was 50 cents. So I picked up a few things there. I picked up this little tree and it's got some holes in it so it made me think of those trees with the, um, the plastic bulbs. Like maybe you could tuck some kind of a light under it and I don't know it just made me, gave me that feeling. And then, after I found that, I actually found one of those big trees. Now this one doesn't have um, holes drilled for the bulbs or anything, but it's the same style. And the reason I like these trees is because my mom and dad have one, and it always came out every December, and as kids it was like the coolest thing we thought. Um, so this was also in the 50 cent room, probably because it has a chip on it. But I'll just touch that up probably with some green nail polish and we'll be all set. I picked up a little plate in the 50 cent room and they had a set of these but I only needed one because I'm not actually going to use it as a plate. I was thinking a spoon rest at first but then I decided that I'm going to put it, put a plate hook on it um, and then just hang it on the wall, the gallery wall in the kitchen. And that was it for the 50 cent room. Then there was another room with all kinds of like ornaments and decorations and that was a name your price room which I don't know. Those types of things bother me because I'm not good at naming prices. I always feel like I want a good deal, but I don't want to like feel cheap and rip somebody off. So I picked up just this uh, wooden look Santa, and it says 1905. It's actually a reproduction, the Memories of Santa Christmas reproductions. Um, but I liked how he had like the kind of like I don't know rustic like wooden carved look. So I picked him up for two dollars. I thought two dollars seemed a fair price to offer. Um, then I have, let's see, Salvation Army. 
I picked up, now this isn't a Christmas item, they had four of these uh, little corn dishes, which I thought would be great for the summer. So I picked those up, and then I picked up two of these plates, because these are the perfect size for having like a bagel in the morning. And for the two plates and the four of these, I paid a $1.62, I think. All right, and then I've got two more stops. The one is that consignment store that I always show you all the great items from. So I picked up a red strainer, and I'm actually just going to use this for Christmas time, um, just to hold like greenery or ornaments or something. And then the other thing I picked up is this Santa. And when I saw him, I was shocked at first because he looks like he's going to be wood, and I picked him up, and he's so light. He's actually hollow plastic. But just looking at him, you'd never be able to tell. So he was marked $3. And then this didn't have a price. She charged me $3.24 for the two of them together. So I got a great deal on that. And I just realized I picked up so many Santas this weekend. Um, I'm kind of excited to get home from work and play and try and make like a little display. I'm thinking about grouping them all together. I don't know if that'll be weird, but I'll give it a shot. All right, and then I went to one last consignment shop, and this one I only visit every so often, but I found my favorite find of the weekend at this one, and I'll show that first. And it's this Holt Howard Santa picture, and I know that if you've watched my previous videos, you saw that I started collecting the mugs, um, and these on eBay are really expensive, at least, you know, in my, my thoughts. Um, so I went in, and he had, he was sitting like right by the door, um, a $7 price tag. So I grabbed him up, and then while I was looking through, I heard somebody else asking about him. So it turns out I was like just on time for him. And actually the inside is really nice looking. I don't think I'll actually serve stuff from him. I thought he'd make more like a vase or even just, just to sit somewhere. But I thought that he was super cute. So then after I picked him up, I found two of the Santa mugs that went with him. They're also Holt Howard on the counter at that shop and they weren't priced yet. And their faces are pretty much worn off, but that's okay. Um, so I asked for a price on these and she said she'd give me the whole set for $12. So that makes these about $2.50 a piece, which I think is great. Uh, next is a sign that I picked up, and this was originally a Target dollar spot sign, and it just says Be Merry, but I liked how it's like a minty green. It's got kind of like that vintage feel that I did this year, um, and it's just simple. It'll set inside of like a display or behind something and just give it like a little bit extra. It was originally a dollar. I also paid a dollar, so there's that, and then the last piece I have is another vintage Santa. And he is just like a, a hollow plastic Santa, and he's got a plug, and I'm assuming he would hold a bulb there. I'm not going to try him because I don't want to start a fire or do something like that if he doesn't work right. Um, so I'm just going to display him as is. And I paid 7 for him too. Um, this store is a little bit more than the other ones I go to, but when I found something like really great, I couldn't pass it up. So then I also have him. And it seems like I on eBay the going price for these is somewhere between like 10 and a little bit up. So I paid I paid less than I would have on eBay, especially when you think of shipping. Um, so yeah, that is my haul for the weekend for all my thrifting, consignment, and my uh, Christmas at the farm. Um, thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed it.